In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to copy the Sharuk Phoenix necklace. Our first move is to sketch out the bird shape. I've taken some modelling mesh, I believe, and just sketch around it. Hopefully it'll show up all right in this light. A bird shape which I've sketched out with a felt tip pen, like so. You don't want to cut around it, leaving a little bit of a seam allowance. And for that you're going to need all-purpose scissors. Then when it's cut out, you want to sort of nip it in at the at the corners so that they can be folded back on themselves. I'm just going to use a darker background as a guide. Just where each corner is. And this is to get rid of any sharp, nasty edges. And you want to bend them back on themselves at the bottom, which is where some long nose pliers come in. And just use your pliers to bend it back on your bend the wire back on itself without hurting your fingers. And don't worry, we're going to fix them from underneath, obviously, or you'd wind up stabbing yourself, which isn't a good look, nor is it safe. When you're finished bending it, you should have something that looks like this. And this is going to be our right side, and we're going to correct that in a minute, but if you'll just hold on to that. Our next move is for our chain, and for the diamond at the bottom. We need two box chains, so here's one. And here's another. We're also going to use a diamond bracelet. I picked this up for a couple of pounds on eBay. by breaking the chain with our long nose pliers. So if you measure about halfway along, then we have to find a way to fix it to there. 
For that I've decided to use some car body filler because it's one of the strongest adhesives I know and it's you don't get anything sticking out that could break easily. Um, that should become clear later on in the tutorial what I mean. But basically you just have to get a small pot like this. Now with your car body filler kit comes the actual filler itself and some hardener. And just to show you measure for measure, you need about that tiny bead's worth of, if you see that little spot there, of hardener, so just like a tiny little amount for give or take about a square inch. So it's really, really small, a uh, little goes a long way. So we're just going to use a spoon to mix those up. And so that it doesn't harden in time, because this is pretty quick drying, so you need to keep your wits about you really. So you're on there. As if you were buttering a scone, perhaps. And attach your chain, like so. We then kind of want to smother the whole lot and wait for it to dry. And I'm going to need to mix some more for this. So once again, a small splodge of this. drop of the hardener, mix them up, and just cover this. That way nothing extraneous is sticking out, it's completely covered, um, nothing's going to stab you in the neck, as pleasant a thought as that is, when you wear it. It's not going to break off easily because it isn't so brittle. and then leave that to dry. So once you've taken your links out and ma made sure they are equidistant, you want to take your other chain and mark out where you want your bird to go. Ideally near the centre, I'm just going to eyeball it right now. Take your blue pen and mark the relevant link. Take a nice long piece of wire and thread it underneath there and there Wind it around a few times. Say about twice. Not forgetting to pull it through with your pliers. Pull it tight. and twist it around just to join it. Cut 
know if you set up this one. Okay. You've joined your two pieces. Next move is to join this, which will be facing upwards. With the raw edges pointing upwards. Next, it's time to mix a bit more body filler. So once again, a general splodge of the actual filler. by a minuscule, I mean drawing pin head sized dollop of hardener. Mix them all up. And not leaving enough time for it to dry and secure it underneath the wings of the of your bird charm again with some body filler and now the time to stick on your gems again using the body filler I chose these Diamantes from Hobbycraft I think they were about £3, £3.50 for a pack or something so first of all mix your body filler as before Another tip would be, since it is so quick drying, just to kind of mix it in stages. So mix a bit, stick some down, mix another bit, then sticks up down. Otherwise you wind up using up the whole lot and not having a chance to stick everything down when it's all dried up on you. And it's quite pricey to replace. So again, just a tiny drop of pink hardener. Mix it like so. Start slathering it down. And this should also smooth down your surface. Start putting them along your edges. If you see, we're going over some of the raw edges, so there won't be, when it comes the time that you've finished it and time to wear it, there won't be any horrible wire sticking out, stabbing you in the neck, which is definitely a bonus. By getting some silver foil and craft mounting, 
some crystal beads to them. Like so. And if you're using sensitive foil like I am, they tend to work themselves free. So just sort of roll them with your fingers. And they should just tear right off. Like with this little fella here. Now for the really fun part, um, with nail varnishes, you're going to need one in blue, lilac, orange, yellow, pink, coral, dark pink, green, and I just took a black one for mixing and a silver one for going over some of the body filler. So you simply need to paint over your beads, the relevant beads, like so. Paint it fairly thickly so that your there isn't any transparency. Your coat pretty much covers your whole gem. You might need to do more than one coat. And when you finish your nail varnish, you should have something that looks like this. Final stage is to take some silver nail varnish and just go over all of your mistakes. Both the brush for larger areas. And for the smaller areas, take a cocktail stick. Just go around them like so. And after you've painted all of your stray body filler with silver nail varnish, um, including with a cocktail stick, like I said, and those awkward nooks and crannies, you should have something that looks like this. You've been watching my tutorial on how to copy the Sharuk Phoenix necklace.